I'm here at the Brunel University Athletic Centre to learn about speed, one of the key elements in football. And I'm going to be learning from some of the UK's top sprinters, Ryan Pierre and Conrad Williams. Sprinting in football is so important over those first five or ten yards especially to get away from a player and to create new space. I've come here today to the Bruno University Athletic Centre to meet some of the UK's best sprinters. Comrade, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, for me, Comrade Williams, 400 metres for GB. I started out doing long jump, triple jump, and by a total fluke, didn't know I could do any athletics. Went down to my local track, said, um, can I join in? He said, have a go. Decided I was okay, put me in the team, and now I am, you know, Olympics last year, semi-finalist, and fourth in the final in the 4x4 relay. Ryan, same for you? Um, no, a bit different. I, I actually came from football. I was at okay. Watford as a young boy and then Chelsea. I also oh, really? had three caps at England schoolboys. Nice. Um, I got released when I was 16 um, from Chelsea um, and because of an injury, I just couldn't recover. Initially, I got into athletics to try and boost my football ability. Oh, really? um, I had a growth spur. Um, <laughs> I found girls, <laughs> and there's a lot more in athletics. <laughs> and beard. <laughs> and beard. Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I fell in love with, um, with the athletic side. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, basically today is um, a gym day. Yep. So we're going to emphasize on the speed. We start off with a um, few lifts in the gym. And we're just going to work on techniques with the blocks and trying to come out of the blocks a couple of times and actually driving with your arms and legs and using everything you can to get speed and show you how to really hammer it down the track. We use the whole body. Mm. So the, the faster your responses are, the more information you can process and move. And often in football, you find that refraction period is important. A player give you a step over. If you can re respond quicker, okay, you'll be quicker on the pitch. Most footballers could work on their speed a lot more. There's no way a footballer's ever run 80 yards, you know, with the ball without someone tackling him. So they never really get up to speed. Mm. So it'd be interesting to see how fast they can actually run yeah. with no ball. And yeah. that would show who's fast as a footballer. You keep your arms at 90, you know, you're bringing them up and it's 90 degrees, you're using your shoulders, these are your yeah. levers, not the elbows. A lot of people when they run, they're side and side. Okay. You, you tend to do this to think you're running <laughs> yeah, fast. That looks like me actually. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, so, but if you really want to run fast, sledgehammer from here, pendulum, you drive that, the leg's coming up. You're really driving it back okay. to get that momentum. In football, it's also the same. You can kick the ball and get away from someone a lot quicker yeah. by just using your arms. Okay. You've got the ball there, but if I knock the ball around, I can get past you mm. very easily. That's the power, but that's the lever that's going to drive this. Let's try that then, let me try and keep Let's my try that. hands All this up, keep my hands up a bit. Literally about 40% 40, 40 effort of just, <laughs> just there. So you're going to start a bit down, bend the back leg, there you go, much better. Relax, I'll do, I'll do that one, get yeah. your back straight, because you're, yeah, there you go, so you're on top of it. Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one, go. I mean, even that acceleration there is just so quick, and you're doing like nothing there. It's that, yeah, that's <laughs> not even... And I'm still struggling to keep up. I'm just running just yeah, to exactly. say this is the forty percent of my effort. I don't want to tie you out because you're gonna yeah, exactly. go and do that. some gym. Go a lot lower. A lot lower. A lot lower, yeah. Lower than that. I'll bend my knees. There you go. No, nope. no, that wasn't. I didn't, no. I didn't feel you right. Just as well. did, that's why I said yeah, yeah. start on a lighter one. Yeah, yeah. Because with the heavy weights, you yeah. wouldn't be able to do that. Weight is one of the most dangerous part of our sport if you try and lift too much too soon. So we're trying to get him nice and light, comfortable, build his confidence up, then put the weights on it. Then you'll be able to lift it because we don't want to damage his back before he starts running. Over. Yeah. The key to anything that you do in the gym, any exercise here, is to relate it into the field you're going to use it, either on the football pitch or on the track. So once you're nice and comfortable in this position, as you come up, 
it's one move, okay? It's an explosive exercise. To do this slowly, it's hard and slow. You want to make it easy and fast. Too much popping it off there. You are popping it. Oh, you do? It's this movement that gets it up. Same when you run. This extension is what sends you forward. Better. Good. Yeah. So Ryan, why is weight training good for sprinters? Because it's resistance yeah. um, and resistance is important because in the blocks you have to overcome inertia. Inertia is the gravitational pull that holds you still. A sprinter, the hardest thing, the most energy is getting going. Mm. Once you're up, you just maintain. Mm. The ability to get up to speed efficiently without it stressing you too much will dictate how fast you run. Our next exercise is bench, we just break it up a little bit. It's 100 kilos, <laughs> repped it out, mate. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. <laughs> It's just Lynn for Christy just spotting me, so it's pretty nice, yeah. So this is the bench press. It's not as important for these guys, but they were just saying they like to do it just because it looks good, they feel good when they do it, so it's a bit of competition. you got me today, But the one we were doing earlier, the, uh, the clean, that's a really key one. Hamstrings, glutes and legs, just to get that explosive strength. Loaded out the blocks. Yeah. Yeah. And keep your arms straight at all times. Yeah. Move in. No, 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 no. There you go. Big your chest up. Back flat. There you go. Sock in. Raise your back legs. There you go. Better. You know what we're gonna do now? You know what we're gonna do? Yeah. 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 Just that? Yeah. That's your marker. Don't make us catch you now. Alright, go! <laughs> that wasn't too bad, was it? No, that was good, man. That was yeah. decent. You I beat me to the line. I beat you. Definitely did. So for viewers watching, is sprint training something that they can really focus on to become a better footballer? Oh, crucially, yeah. I, I think it's not just sprint training, it's thinking outside of the box. Playing in the centre of the park is not so crucial. More lateral movement is what you need to work on. But if you're a winger, defender, any position where you can get skinned and overtaken, speed's crucial. If you're faster, you won't need to get fouled all the time because you're ready to jump out of the way. Yeah. You won't be there because you'd be gone. And with technology how it is now, these, these footballers have got the ability to go behind a high-speed camera. They can get into a facility like this once a week and you know, hone another part of their body. And overall, I think their gross performance will, will increase and you'll find more and more players getting into that now. I've got the world record for that, fastest 100 metres of the ball on the head. Yeah. Serious? Yeah, 17 and a half seconds. Bloody hell, that's a world record. That's not bad, that's you know. You keep it on your, on your head for 100 metres, man. <laughs> 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 I'm going over to train now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he does this now. <laughs> oh. So it's been a great day here with Comrade and Ryan, learnt loads about sprinting, obviously how that's key in football as well. Make sure you subscribe to Copper 90 in order to see more episodes of Control. That's it. Always. Hit the like button, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, boys. Cool, man.